In this tutorial we are going to set up deathmatch gameplay properties for the map. So we are able to launch UDK game and choose deathmatch and be able to play it. Now make sure that you have inserted all the necessary game entities that you need for a deathmatch map. These include path nodes, player starts, any weapons that you want to place, any items, and that you have build all but when you build all, it builds everything including the lighting and the paths and finalizes your map. And if you don't know how to place any of these items into your map, make sure you refer to my previous tutorial where I explain exactly how to place player starts, weapon items, and path nodes. So once you have everything placed, first thing you need to do is to save this map as a deathmatch map. So go file, save as and make sure that the extension is dm dash and the name of your map. Once you saved go to view world properties and open up game type. Here we are going to set up two game types. So for game type supported on this map you want to add a new item and add another one. So we're going to have two. One is going to be UT Deathmatch and the second one is going to be UT Team Game. And one more thing we need to go up to World Info. Right where it says My Map Info, right now it's set to None. We want to create a new object and let me move this. Uh, we want to set this to UT Map Info. Now let's open this up. Here we have quite a few tabs so here we can set the number of players that we want in this map. Let's say 4 to 8. Map Music Info. This is the music that is going to play as you play inside the game. There's different tracks for different types of scenarios. So for example when the time runs out, music switches. Or when you are on the killing spree, there's a different music that plays as opposed to when you're not doing so well. So let's go to the content browser. Click on all assets and under packages we want to find A underscore music arrangements. There's only two that we can use. So we're going to use A music go down deathmatch. If you double click and open up the map music info you can see all the different tracks and what they do. So let's select A music go down deathmatch. Make sure that's selected and we're going to use the selected object in the content browser. Let's close this, go to File and Save All. And now let's launch our game. Now I have a shortcut that points to the game and you can find this exe file inside UDK installation folder, binaries and Windows 32 or 64 depending on the Windows version you have. So here inside the installation folder, inside binaries, 32 and here we have udk.exe. This is the file that you want to launch for the game. So let's go ahead and launch it. So let's go instant action. Let's set up a game mode. We can choose either deathmatch or team deathmatch. Let's choose team deathmatch first. Let's go to map. Let's choose our map. Here we have boxes, DM. And we want to start game. And here we are inside the game with all the items and everything spawned and this is a team deathmatch game so we have our timer and we have our teams so let's go ahead and start and see what happens and here we are we are on the red team all the bots start playing with us and now we can run around and have a functional team deathmatch game so that is how you set up a deathmatch or a team deathmatch map inside UDK